Welcome baseball fans, I'm Kevin Ripa and this is My Sands 3 Minutes Max. Yesterday we talked about the registry as a quick win file where we can pull a lot of data out of and of course we talked about how it was databases or hives as opposed to a single file. Uh, today we're going to actually look at some of the goodness that's in here. Now we're barely going to scratch the surface on the artifacts that we can find inside the registry but I just want to show you three to show you uh, what this stuff looks like when you pull it out and how this can help you move the ball forward quickly. So uh, in the first instance what we're going to see here we're using a tool called Registry Explorer by Eric Zimmerman and with Registry Explorer we can uh, just click on file and we can load a hive and uh, we can follow just through the prompts to where the hives live on our forensic image or if we've done a triage extraction already we have the hive sitting in a file somewhere waiting to be looked at. So once we load the hive in this case we've loaded the SAM hive because we want to see users and and uh, information about users so uh, you can see down here the uh, uh, location that this lives in and which hive and we click on users and it populates in the window over on the right we can then click on export and we can pull that out to wherever we want and once we pull that out we have the ability to see all of this in a spreadsheet now I've redacted some of the columns for brevity but you when you do it yourself you'll be able to see what all is there but we have user IDs, total login counts. Obviously, this uh, this user here, LW, is clearly the uh, the uh, most prolific user on the system. We see how many times they've logged in. Understand that if you're using a Microsoft ID to log in, this is going to be zero. It's not going to maintain account. We see when the account was created and the last time someone logged in, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So great information there. Quick wins to see what users are on the system and how long they've been there. And then the next, uh, the next artifact that we get to see that we're going to look at is recent docs. And I talked about recent docs earlier about being able to see files and stuff that were open. Once again, once we're at the URL listed, we can just go to export and click it out. And we get to see uh, some of this stuff. We get to see what documents they were, zips, XLSX, PowerPoints, what order they were opened in, the name of the files, when they were opened. Great quick win stuff in case maybe the file was deleted. Well, it doesn't matter. We still see the activity that happened. And then we have our USB information in USB store. So each one of these is a USB device that was plugged into the system. And for example, we have this data traveler. This is the serial number of the device. And this starts us down the road of forensic goodness for USB forensics, which may come up in a later uh, episode of the show. So in the meantime and in between times, that's it. Another episode of My Sands, three minutes max.